From the outside, this might just look like another beautiful vineyard tucked away in the foothills of Yona Mountain, but take a closer look and you'll find it's one of the most energy-efficient, environmentally-friendly operations in the entire state. In fact, they recently became the only winery on the East Coast to use solar panels as their main source of energy. Well, we've actually been talking about solar since the beginning. We love to be on the cusp of the cutting edge. Uh, my father and I love technology and electronics, and we always loved this whole idea, and we, we married together with sustainability. We got the right solar company, and we got together with them, and they price it out for us. And so we said, let's get as big as we possibly can, and which is around 60 to 70 percent of our annual usage. And so we uh, pulled the trigger last year. Uh, we started the project in August, and we finally came online late February of this year. While the installation was both expensive and time-consuming, in the long run, it will not only help the environment, but their pocketbook as well. So our March power bill was the first full month that we got. So last year's March bill was about $2,500, and this year's March bill was $800. Between the solar panels, LED lighting, charging stations, and even a bee colony, Yona Mountain Vineyards is helping lead the way in sustainability. I always felt it was a huge necessity like if we can help the environment and do more things for the planet and be more uh, environmentally friendly and you know sus more sustainable in every single way we can I think you know it's kind of our duty to do that. That's not the only thing this operation is known for though as they also produce some of the highest quality wine on the market. I said if I'm going to do this and make wine I want to make really good wine I don't want to just make wine. The way I determined that was blind taste tests. And I would take our wine against some fine wines out of California, $100 bottles, $200 bottles, gather people together. Uh, we'd have 15 people tasting, and 10 out of the 15 thought our wine would be better than the expensive wines from California. That's when we knew we had a pretty good product. 65 to 80 percent of the time, we will beat those wines. So we know that it's possible to grow good grapes right here in Georgia, and one of these decades, we're going to be on the map just like Napa Valley or Burgundy or Bordeaux. And that type of quality doesn't come easy as they use some of the best products on the market while also paying attention to the small details. To do what we do, our yeast product is much more expensive. We use French oak barrels, which are $1,200 instead of $300 American oak barrels. Uh, the energy effort we put into is a lot more than what a very simple large winery would be doing. While places like Napa Valley and Sonoma are considered the pinnacle of wine production in the U.S., Miller believes that Georgia could soon earn that kind of reputation. So I love the wine snobs to come and visit us because there's not a good reputation for wine necessarily in Georgia. Um, a lot of people think it's not a very good product, so I just said come and see us, taste our wine, see what you think, and we turn people around. Reporting from Cleveland, I'm Damon Jones for the Farm Monitor.